Did you know it was retro night? Two Suzuki's in the top five. I so Jet stepped on his dick. He only won a Supercross. Not enough to impress you. I imagine what she says about me when I'm not around. <laughs> this is the little thing he needed to be like, all right, let's fuck yeah. up. You couldn't get any mud on the streets, but yet in San Fran, you can just shit all over the street and it's not a problem. You were just butt hurt. No, it was both. I was well laid the Husky down on the 91 freeway and just tried <laughs> to pick it up there. Let's everybody know how long his dick is whenever it rains. There's chiz all over the wall. It's expecting in nine months. I said I would be his ass for sure. I would. I YouTube, how we doing? Welcome back to the channel. It's Maddie B and Top Chick with another installment of Supercross Review from a Mud National last night. Babe, say what's up. What's up, guys? And yeah, we're back with minimal equipment. Sorry to any of you guys that don't like the picture or the audio. I had a uh, old Rocky Mountain douche last week was heavily upset about our our video quality. So for any of you guys that don't enjoy it, I'm sorry. We still have we still have no upgrades, but it's been a busy week at the Nationals. So we're just trying to make it in this world. So here we are, another low budget production, no choice. Watched the San Fran Ocean National last night. Um, babe, mud race. What did you think? It was pretty exciting, honestly. We were straight up like screaming on our couch for like the heat races with Prado and AP and I don't even remember but I mean yeah so people don't like mud races but full of surprises yeah. didn't know what was gonna happen yeah exactly they only got one practice so some good guys didn't even make the night show in the 450 like Jerry Robbins, Simonson, A-Rod like there's some good guys that didn't make it they cut it back to one practice this was pretty funny we saw on the moto memes uh Instagram uh, they all had to wash their bikes right at the stadium because they couldn't get any mud on the streets but yet in San Fran you can just shit all over the street and it's not a problem kind of unbelievable huh? yeah pretty crazy um layout and everything <laughs> hopefully it doesn't deter them from going back yeah no kidding but yeah mud national carnage bikes blowing up people crashing everywhere um probably the only supercross I might have actually wanted to race because nobody was hitting jumps so um, yeah, without further ado, we'll get into the 250 class, which is where most of our disagreements and relationship struggles stem from. I guess I'm just going to start. I'm going to lay it on you hard. Shimoda, title pick. What do you think now? I'm upset, and it was really hurtful last night how much you wanted to, like, rub it in as it was <laughs> happening. I really was upset. I don't, it, I don't even really remember rubbing it in that hard. I think you, you were. were. Just, I think you were just butt hurt. No, it was both. But I was butt hurt, but... Um, no, it was really unfortunate, especially like with how he did pretty decent in the uh, heat. He crushed the heat race. Yeah, and qualifying. It was like he was so. straight out of mud race in Nagasaki, like he was back at home. He was ripping. <laughs> but yeah, that was a bummer. Yeah. Um, but right. was... he's, he's already like 30 points down, so that's going to be a tough one. But I got to throw yeah. a quick stat at you. You want to know the only person I think who's made up this big of a gap in the 250 Supercross class? Who? J Law. J Law was like oh, 34 wow. points behind Dunn and he ran him down. So you never know. J Law, Shimoda, they're basically the same guy, same mannerisms, same, you know. I have a lot of faith in Shimoda, but I don't know if, if he gets, you know, already this far behind. I don't have that That's much tough. faith in He's him. He's dug himself yeah. a six foot hole and yeah. he's drowning. Yeah. Well, to some positivity, my predictions. Well, actually, only one of them. Jordan Smith gets the win. I'm hyped. Jordan, I know you're watching this. He loves Square Table. Thanks, brother. <laughs> and congratulations. Um, yeah, Jordan Smith actually gave us some positive feedback on this, but he took the win. I got to be honest, I don't think I would have picked him to win in the mud because my boy's loose. And uh, him and RJ both, like, we saw that stat where they're, like, basically the same rider. Like, it just cracked us up because, like, I grew up racing both of them, and, like, they are kind of the same guy. So, um, what's On paper. Yeah, on paper, even the stats. Yeah. Like, I could have told you that, but... Jordan win. Lee Kitchen almost caught him. And um, you were saying before this, you're kind of liking Kitchen's chances for the championship now. Yeah, I mean, I definitely still, like, I do have faith in Jordan. Hopefully he can keep this um, momentum going forward. Like, I'm stoked for him for sure. And I have more faith in him than RJ for sure. So, but um, it would be really cool to see Kitchen keep keep doing the He's like, looking good on green. Yeah. Now, for our other contender that I predicted, RJ, honestly, like, that was kind of an RJ, like, you know, crashing and having a bad result. Like, that was, like, that tends to sometimes be an RJ's contract, but that was not his fault. RJ yeah. got boned by Anthony Bourdain on the Suzuki. The freaking kick, <laughs> RJ clipped the Kickstarter on the way by, and it took him to the ground. And he could not yeah, have crashed. such a bad He spot. couldn't have crashed in a worse place. Yeah. Like, he might as well have laid the Husky down on the 91 freeway and just tried <laughs> to pick it up there. Yeah, that was, that was sad. All right. Here's another heartbreaker. Talk about the battle for the podium, the Club of Max boys. Ugh, I really wanted this for Phil. Me too. I, I think was, the world did. I was on the edge of my seat for that. That was probably what had us 
hollering the most. Yeah, um, we were losing our mind. Yeah, so that was sad, but still really good for Phil getting fourth. Yeah, that just, was cool. It sucks though. Like he said on the podium, like he's getting to the end of his career. Like yeah. those chances don't come around that often anymore. Fuck, I wish he would have done it. That would have been so sick. That's cool for Marsh Banks too. Though. Hey, you know what Both though? Times. For the second week in a row, this is Phil. Yeah, really. <laughs> And I, you know what? I might be able to just repeat that clip all season, more than likely. Yeah. Either this or this throat slit. What like, a it's start one, to it's his one of the season. Two. Yeah. yeah. No kidding. Um. Then we had Mumford. He he was he sniffed the podium, but then he said, "Nah, I'm cool." Knifed yeah. it, knifed it between the face and the landing on the finish line. <laughs> um. But still a sick ride for Mumford. Four Don was shredding. Josh Faree is seventh. Shout out to him for not breaking his bike in half. But you know, have one press day. That's always what you want. So yeah. you know, good steps forward there, keeping the bike. Um, in one piece. Um, then we have Yoder. Super fans hyped on Yoder. I'm hyped on Yoder too. Yoder's yeah. the man. Shout out to Yoder. He almost killed himself in practice. I might have to roll the clip here on his Instagram. Couldn't fall. Dude can't ride a bike that good. Get him off the bike. Went like 2.8 and to the side of a Supercross triple. Still rode it out. Not a problem. And I think that might be a career best. So Yoder, hell yeah. Let's go. RJ 9th. We talked about him. Freckle, quiet 10th. Um, he's probably having trouble getting all that mud out of that red hair. No choice. Um, Juju, 11th. We talked about him. We thought he was going to be sick because he's a jet ski guy, but I guess jet skis and mud supercross don't quite translate. But Juju's your guy now, yeah? Yeah. You're high on once, Juju. Once the dirt's dry again, I think he's going to be back right at home. Interesting. Yeah. That we need the dirt to dry up for a jet ski guy. Yeah. That's where yeah, we're living. Yeah, kind of contradictory. Um, let's see. 13th, got to give a major shout out to my boy Matty J. I've had some fun battles with this kid myself, even when he was back in D class, racing AB All Star, Bud's Creek Amateur Day with Deegan and that. Matty's my boy, he's a good dude, and that's his first main event, second ever Supercross, and he's a good mud rider. He was second in qualifying at High Point in mud last year, so he lets everybody know how long his dick is whenever it rains, that's for sure. But I think he was actually in the top 10, and he ended up 13th, so that's good for him. Now we'll go ahead. Finish out the stupidity class on the negative notes. We'll start with Thrasher. We both had him up there in our title picks, and he's two for two on in the bed. What do you think? Yeah, just unfortunate for him how things have gotten started. Um, and when I say sh when I say sh in the bed, like I just mean like you know, in perspective, it's Thrasher. You know, these guys are all sicker than me. These guys sh in the bed would still lap me, but yeah, for Thrasher's expectations, yeah, he's kind of sh in the bed. At least he made it in out, out of the LCQ. Yeah, and at least he didn't hit a wall. So yeah, he's, yeah. True. He's, People yeah. did hit the wall. Who hit the oh, wall? Oh, Chiz! Oh Somebody my check gosh. on Chiz. There's yeah. there's Chiz all. That over, was rough. There's Chiz all over the wall. It's expecting in nine months. <laughs> <laughs> hey, back on topic. Two fifty class. Thrasher's boned. He's way out. Catch him. We'll get him next year, son. Um, Voland. Poor giraffe, long neck. He was ripping. I feel like he was definitely getting a podium, which would have been his first podium. But yeah. he decided he was going to be a clutch wizard and fry the bitch in like three laps. And yeah, I mean, he was sitting there. Yeah. Sitting there wondering what he could have done different. Last two guys. Oh, we already talked about Shimoda. 21st Ryder D. I said last weekend we would talk about him when it's time. And I think it's time because he stomped him in the heat race. He was gone. I figured we'd have a good main event. But 21st, call him Matty B in the 2014 outdoors. One spot out of points. But uh, yeah, I mean... Anything else on the class? Yeah, no. Nothing really crazy. I'm just sad for Phil. Yeah. In, in summary. Straight up. Now to the 450 class. We paused and took like a screenshot of the track before the 450 class. Yeah. Like what? How do we feel about the conditions, Cole Scott? Oh, man. I mean, <laughs> I would have hated it. You would have loved it. Especially how they got rid of the whoops. Yeah, that would have been sick. Yeah, you would have loved it. But you're. I wanted them to do that at the little Moonlight Barn Cross this weekend. <laughs> I wanted the whoops to go on. They weren't even big. Yeah, but it looked horrible. Horrible indeed. Horrible. On to the 450 class. He did not knife. Sexton takes the win. I kind of, I, I predicted, I thought he was going to be a little slower, but less knifing. And he didn't knife Andy one. So I guess I'm yeah. more half right. What do you think? Um, You've been a little critical of Sexton. Tell me about I it. I have. Um, I guess I'm just less of a fan. I don't know than who I she thinks she be. is. I don't know. Who I she have she really is. been um outspoken during the races lately. Yeah. But um I've been, I've been having to tell you kind of shut up. He was pretty far ahead though, and then Tomac started reeling him in, right? Tomac How far ahead did he finish? Tomac got within like three seconds and then he pulled yeah. back out. I think he won by six, seven, eight, something yeah. like that. So honestly, many races, I'm, like, I'm honestly ready to just skip Sexton and talk about Tomac. Alright, second place. <laughs> Eli to and Sexton's points leader, by the way. So back to red plate. Yeah, yeah, I guess you don't care. You I know. don't. He only won a supercross and this and that. Yeah. Not enough to impress you. Got it. Yeah. I can only imagine what she says about me when I'm not around. <laughs> second, Tomac. I we were kinda like cheering for him to get the win. Like, yeah. I want to see that guy back on top at least once after the Achilles and just the fact that it came back. Like, what do you, what do you think? I'm really happy that he had a, a good race. And he's kind of like, 
in it in the points yeah. too because Jet messed up. So Jet stepped on his dick, so Jet went like one nine, Eli yeah, went eight I feel two, like so they're is, close. This is the little thing he needed to be like, all right, let's f yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Third, Roxon. He pulled the stall, the kickstart combo with the whole <laughs> shot, but he still got third. I feel like, honestly, I think Kenny would have won if he didn't stall it. Like, Dude, 450 easy. start. We got to mention that. <laughs> yeah. what before a shit start, show. It was like a bomb went off at the yeah. 450 start. It was unreal. It was like I was watching D class at Motorama right after the water truck. It was like someone put grenades out there. Which, I mean, I would have ate shit too. I promise. I guarantee you guys I would have been the first one on the ground. But yeah, that was wild. Yeah. Um. So, third, Roxon. Fourth. Where the hell did this come from? I didn't. I've known this guy is forever. He good in the mud? I've known this guy forever, and I didn't know he was that good in the mud. I hope he watches this because I'm still coming to the result. Shane McElrath. And did you know it was retro night? Two Suzuki's in the top five. I saw that. Thanks. Moto, <laughs> Moto memes is unbeaten. That guy's a legend. But yeah. McElrath fourth. Um, definitely would not have had it on my bingo card for McElrath to be ahead of Plessinger in fourth, and then AP fifth. We all know we had him picked. We were watching practice at the arena crash freaking out the ap was on the top of the board qualified fastest and he's not even good at qualifying and then uh the heat race the dude was on a mission and all of a sudden the wheels just kind of fell off and then i have a little bit of insider information i don't have much inside information on this video but my one piece of inside information ap had no goggles after lap two so basically just looked like his chick shit all over his face from the beginning of the second lap. No, just brown everywhere. He's boned. Uh -huh. Yeah, not a, not the best visual, maybe. Yeah. But. Um. No, that was really sad. We we really thought. It was I still think it's night. coming. I still think it's coming. We it's got, hard. Like it, it even might if even you're rain good in the mud. It like, might even rain again in San Diego. I think it's like fifty percent chance really? right now. And then obviously we have Seattle. Like it's gonna rain again. And even if it doesn't rain. AP almost stomped the shit out of everybody in Detroit. Like Chase, all of them straight up last year. He was gone. So. I'm not holding my breath on the rain. AP can do it in the dry, too. We believe in oh, him. Oh, for sure. We believe in him. Um, sixth, Ferrandis. I feel like that's an underrated ride because he won the heat race, which was sick on the Tucson Hunt, Phoenix Honda. And then uh, in the main, he was Lawndard Nation down the start straight and still almost caught AP and got sixth. Like, he could have been another one. Like, he could have won that thing if he didn't crash or at least podium. Yeah. Nothing to say about Le French. Enjoy Le Ride. Cool for him. Good for the team, I guess. This one will be a little bit more exciting to talk about, though. Seventh, Prado. We were straight up, like, hollering at the TV for him in the heat race. Like, how sick was that to watch? How easy he made that it That was work. impressive. He, made like, it, he was literally... So, Prado in the first heat was basically just riding around. Looked like his heart rate was 110. Yeah. Leading it. And then the next heat, total opposite. AP's just mad dog in the whip. Like, just yeah. manhandling it. My thing with Prado was just how smooth he made it look. Yeah. He made it, it look like it wasn't that bad. And yeah. then the next one, like... You could tell it was mental when AP was going fast, yeah. but, like, yeah, it was fun to watch for sure. And it'll be sick, like, I feel like him winning that heat race, even though I don't like the fact that they decided to show him hugging his family and friends halfway through the second heat race, that was bullshit. It's sick that he won heat, because I feel like that is just another kick in his direction to, like, get him to, to come back. He caught a taste of it, caught the, what does James say, he caught the neck burn, little heat race <laughs> neck burn. I'm sure he'll be back. It'll be fun to see him back, definitely. A little yeah, Spaniard. for sure. I wanted to say something in Spanish, but that's why I failed out of college, so I got nothing. Um, <laughs> next, AC. We didn't really see or hear anything from him. I'm just glad that he had a top 10 ride, something yeah. to build on. We're AC fans here, yeah. so we want to we want to see AC thriving. Ninth, ninth and 10th, Jet and Hanta. Guess it doesn't rain that much in Aussie, but uh, I I don't know. I Honestly, I, I thought Jet could do everything. I kind of thought he was going to win, but yeah, he was kind of floundering around. I kind of thought he'd do a little better than how he did. Well, and especially, like, in heat races, they didn't even do that good. They weren't even hitting the whoops. Dude, his goggles. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, his goggles. Uh, I think the end of his roll-offs were, like, in our front yard this morning, all the way from yeah. San Fran. Yeah, more on the East Coast. Tough. So. That, that's got to be distracting even for somebody Heavy. who's, like... He was even trying to pick up the bike, and it was messing him up. Yeah. But you know what I do like? Like... At least it's put him in a little bit of a hole. Like, at least he's got some work to do. Like, Definitely this is, makes it more exciting. Yeah, yes, thank God. Sure. I even had a couple people message me. They said they were at Anaheim, and, like, when Jet fell in the heat race, people were stoked. And it's not because they don't like Jet. They just want to see a fight brought to him. Because yeah. the dude just made everyone look like an idiot all summer. So we're just not really trying to see it again. Yeah. Um, then Hunter, too. I mean, not never really saw him, but at least he made the main. He didn't get freeze, so that was neat. Yeah. Um, I mean, yeah, any any day you're marked safe from Vince Freeze is probably a positive in my book. For sure. So. Um, then we got Webb, 11th, didn't see much of him, too. He did have some sketchy, his uh, heat race finish line, Flatland, was 
out of what uh, vlogs are made of. That one was gnarly. Yeah, that was funny. A little bit of a rough night for Coop. But he'll be back. He's a digger. Um, wrapping this thing up, we're getting to the end here. Team Fried went OTB Indonesia on the start. He that started, was rough. He started that whole deal. It was like deal. he hit like a brick wall. Yes, like, safe to say if the jersey wasn't untucked before, it was untucked after. Yeah. Um, then Barsha, I don't know, apparently he was like sick with like uh, bubonic plague or something, I thought they said. But uh, yeah, it's rough ride, usually a mud guy, but struggled to a 17th. At least he was out there digging those, so props to you, Bam Bam, you're a legend. Um, he was with your boy. Yeah, 18th out of freaking nowhere. This dude, like, five weeks ago, tossed an upside-down, turn-down whip to breaking his hand combo in uh, Boise, Idaho at Arena Crash. Upside-down, <laughs> turn-down whip. I think, he got, I think he got on the pipe, like, last week and rode, like, a couple times, saw the weather forecast. He's a big mud guy. He said, F*** it, let's go. Justin Rodbell, basically from the couch, from the surgeon, to P18 in the main, qualified straight through in the heat race, and uh, I don't know, I, I don't even think he had to smash anybody's leg like he did mine to do it. Damn. He was in a battle with Freeze, so that could have been fireworks. Yeah. But they're boys, so I mean. Wild. Uh, 20th, Freddie. Too bad we didn't have Superfan around, so he could scream at the TV during the LCQ win. And uh, yeah, we're still trying to get Superfan in on this, but we tried to watch the race with him today. Not much of a mud guy. He was about yeah. to fall asleep. He wanted to do everything but watch the race. So we're not going to put him in here on something he's uninterested in. So we'll get super fan in here when it's time. I promise you guys. Last place in the main. Poor Malcolm. That dude's having a rough time. He's had some bad he's luck. Had bad luck. And the beginning of last season, too. He was so fast and had dog shit luck the first two rounds yeah. and then he was gone. But you know, they say it just makes the highs higher when you got such low lows. Like once he has a good race, it's gonna everyone's going to be so excited for him. Damn, no wonder I was so excited to win just a local nothing race this weekend. <laughs> It's been going horrible. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Let's go. Uh, then had a couple DNQs. Justin Cooper, which that's a bummer. He ended up falling in the LCQ. He's a little dude on a big bike, so that probably was a difficult task. But he'll be back. Cold Spring Habba, no choice. Um, then I don't think anybody was too bummed to see this guy DNQ. Vince Freeze, I guess we saw it. He made it ahead of Dino in the heat race, and then he got docked for I don't even know what, but I think everybody's cool with it. What do you think? Yeah, that's just so funny. Last weekend you were claiming you were going to beat his ass, so what is it? I said week? I would beat his ass, for sure. I would. How about this week? Um. Well, I mean, he didn't make it, so I wouldn't have had to. Hey, how funny was it? Out of the corner of the screen in the LCQ. <laughs> we were bike watching off. him push his bike off when the week before. It's just ironic because the week before he crashed and left his bike on the track. And yeah. It was just kind of funny. It was a full circle. Yeah, it really for was. Sure. But um, Vince, if you're watching this, man, I ain't even, I ain't even hating. I, you're entertaining the shit out of me. I don't have to race you, so keep it. Let's go. Keep it rolling. Um, but yeah, that's about it. You got anything else to say, Cole Scott? Kind of a just bad shit crazy shit show mud race any uh any closing thoughts anything you want to tell the fans anything you want to disagree with me about anything you want to tell me i'm stupid for are you high right now do you ever get nervous are you single <laughs> uh no i just i really wanted to like hit you upside the head when you were talking shit on shimoda as it was happening <laughs> um but other than that yeah i'm hoping that we see aaron plessinger get his night soon and don't we it's kind of just a turn of events seeing how it all happened and yep. It's exciting that it's kind of gotten, you know, jumbled up. Thrown out a while. Yeah. yeah. Yep. See how we might it goes. be back to normal, see if it's dry and jet smokes everybody next weekend. But let's take these next six days and pretend everybody else has a little better yeah, chance. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching this low budget national production. We really appreciate it. We really have fun chatting about this stuff. Let us know what you think in the comments and let us know. Some ideas, what you guys want to see, what you want to hear, and we may do them, we may not, but either way, got nothing else to say. We're out of here. Thanks, everybody. See ya.